Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the Bee Theme and the Bee Builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. Table of contents element automatically organizes page content based on H1 through H6 tags of hierarchy. The whole process is automatic and in this tutorial I would like to show you how to set it up. If you write long articles, adding a table of content helps both search engines and humans to navigate and understand your content better. What I would like to recreate today would be an article with various heading tags and table of contents element on the side that follow the visitor on scroll. So let's move on to the B Builder. The first thing I'm gonna add is a new section that I will populate with two wraps. The left wrap will be 3 fourth, but the left one I want to be the rest of the right one I want to be 1 fourth. And now uh, the left wrap will be populated with some column texts uh, that I'm gonna to operate on. Uh, I will speed up this process and the text will be added in a text field uh, because I don't want to lose the time to show you how to style uh, things like headings uh, with the WYSIWYG editor. The article I already created uh, from these uh, column texts uh, contains mainly headings like H3s and H5s and this I want to use for my talk element. So when this is done uh, we can move to adding the table of contents element to the right wrap. And now we can dive into its options to get know them better. The first option uh, for the talk element is title. It's basically the title you can see right now on the right side. It's called table of content, so I'm gonna leave it like that as it doesn't matter right now in my case. Uh, the second option uh, is the choice of heading tag for the title. You can switch between various headings like H2, H3, and for my case, I'm gonna leave the H4. Third option of the talk element is probably the most important one. It's called Anchor by HTML tags. For, uh, for my text, I would like to catch only H3s and H5s, as I mentioned previously. Uh, but this element by default adds all the tags from H1 for H6. So what I'm gonna do now is remove all the tags I basically don't need for my element. As you can see, the table of contents looks much better now as it contains only the heading tags I have in my article. The next option is marker view. Here you can define if you want uh, the list of talk to be listed with the numbers or bullets. And additionally, you can uh, define uh, an icon instead of the default bullet uh, with the option below. Uh, let's search for uh, the right icon, but maybe I would like to choose from the font awesome predefined library. And that icon would be really nice. The next option is link format. Uh, I strongly recommend to be set to SEO friendly, however, if for any reason you got non-friendly URLs because for example you use languages like Arabic or Chinese, then you will need to switch to a simple format instead. The last option is toggle the visibility. Here you can choose if you want your talk to be open or start, or 
maybe you want it to be closed. You can also define text for the show and hide buttons that toggle the table of content. Because my talk element still doesn't look just like on the example I've showed you in the beginning of this video, uh, I need to style it a bit. Uh, to do that, I need to go to the advanced tab of the table of contents element and the first thing I'm gonna set uh, will be the padding, uh, 32 pixels should be fine. Uh, the next I'm gonna set the margin top to be 20 pixels. Uh, let's set the background as well uh, to the color I basically like to for this uh, table of contents element and also let's set 15 pixels for the border radius that's great as you can see it now looks exactly the same as on my example that's it for today hope you like this tutorial and from now on it would be easier to use the table of contents element in your current and future projects that is all for this video thanks for watching and remember to like subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video if you have more questions please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com